hello guys welcome back to my another video guys in this video i'm gonna show you the deadliest combination uh in the changing embed that you can do uh, after dropping the sumero and that combination is the is very very good that uh, character don't need to have the higher attack and or the crash damage uh, just the element uh, elemental reaction and elements combination gonna be very deadliest so i'm gonna show you the three elements that's gonna be very deadly when when you combine those three elements in the changing impact so stay tuned till the end guys i'm gonna show you the characters and the damage and how this elements gonna work Stabilize. Body and no, my sword. I will have order. There is no escape. Everyone's okay. Let me leave you a verse. Illusion shattered. Ha! Now you shall perish. Okay, as you've seen in this uh, as battle, uh, the the elements are the electro, hydro, and dendro. These are current my favorite elements in the game. If you're talking about the support or any elemental reaction or damage, and we already have very uh, so much fun character in electro and hydro that we can use with our dendro character. But the problem, main problem in this team that we are very limited to the dendro support character right now. The only two good sub dendro support character in the game that the traveler, the main character and the Nahida but the problem with the Nahida is Nahida is being a five star and he, she is being a five star and rare five star so no not everyone have Nahida but we can use traveler traveler is also very very good dendro support character so guys this is the team this is my favorite a uh, good team right now electro and uh, hydro and dendro for electro in this stream i'm using radiant show and for hydro i'm using shinkyu i also recommend everyone to use uh, uh shinkyu as a hydro character in the, in this team and for the dendro i'm using neither you can also use uh dendro main traveler the traveler the main character uh guys my uh Bal doesn't have a, like very high crit rate or crit damage. My rating Shogun is in Shogun is on 180 crit damage and on one on 50 crit rate. And I'm using Emblem Four Piece and Catch R5 as the main weapon. And also, guys, in this my Shinkyo is on 80 level with 145 crit damage and. Nahida is also 80 level with 700 elemental mastery and 35% critted and around 170 crit damage. So this this team is very fresh to be friendly when you're talking about the weapons and the artifacts. Artifacts having the one uh, one not over 180 crit damage and I'm I, I have given all F2 weapons to Nahida on Nahida I'm using with it and on Shinkyu I'm using sacrificial and on Bal I'm using the the catch so this is a totally f to be friendly team as you can see being a f to be friendly team the team is giving half very huge damage because of the combination of the electro uh, hydro and dendro you can use any character uh, in place of the raiding shogun you can also use catching in place of raiding shogun you can use facial catching baidu uh, in place of raiding shogun and still this team gonna be a very very good team uh, and also guys my uh, rating shogun is on level 90 and Zhongli is just here for the shield Shinky is on level 80 and Nahida is on level 80 Shinkyu as Shinkyu and Nahida being on level 80 uh, Shinkyu's level are uh, talents are on 11 because of the constellations but Nahida's talents are on 8 8 because Nahida being uh, still is 80 level uh, and the Baal uh, ultimate Mal's only ultimate and elemental skill is on uh, max 10 level. Uh, I have no no constellation like besides Shinkyu, uh, no ZC0, Berating Shogun, C0, Zhongli, and C0 Nahida uh, 
and Shinkubi is being the only character here having the C6 constellation. So in my opinion guys, uh, this is, this combination is very very good. You should try it by yourself with the Dendro, Hydro and uh, uh, electro character the reason this game uh, giving up huge damage numbers because he's having a uh, reactions together uh, electro and dendro having the aggravate reaction where they both complements to each other and buff elements uh, electro and dendro's damage and then uh, hydro and dendro having the reaction called hyper bloom the bloom reaction is the very high damage reaction where the dendro damage is be being the top priority then there is a reaction between the electro and hydro Hydro deck being the electro charge. That's not the uh, this damage is not the very high rate damage, but it's a uh, real element reaction that is there. So there we there is a three element element reaction that we are triggering with the three elements. Guys, in my opinion, these reactions are very very good. The aggravate having the very high damage, then the hyper bloom having the high very high damage, uh, being there and giving or uh, doing all the work because of the Nahidas, Nahidas ult, everyone's getting the element elemental mastery around 160 to 170, and that's why they are all getting the max to max element reaction. If you use the uh, main traveler, the dendro travelers elemental burst. Dendro Traveler Elemental Burst also Luck gives 80 to 90 no elements to Elemental Mastery game. to your whole team. So that, that's it guys. Thank sooner. you for watching. If you like my video, you can like, hit the like button and if you can subscribe my channel for more videos. And uh, let me know in the comment what you think about this team, this uh, element combination. You like it or not. Thank you guys. We'll meet in the next video. Tada! Bye bye.